Hello there, Coles here, and welcome back to Coles' Tech. Where today I'm going to quickly show you the RGB on the Castle 360 RGB. So in a previous video I looked at the Castle 240 RGB. Um, I returned it because there was a problem with this water block part here, the RGB on it, like just wasn't working properly for some reason. So I returned the 240 and got the 360 instead which is obviously pretty much exactly the same but has an extra 120 millimeters on the radiator and an extra fan and they also kept one of the fans from the old one which is on the back there um, so in the box everything's pretty much the same if I can remember how to open it that would help alright so yeah in the box you get well the, these things which have the fans in and uh, you get some thermal paste. I don't know how good it is. I I, us I usually use thermal grizzly, but I couldn't find it, so I had to use the one from this set. Uh, we've got the AMD brackets. Pretty much all the same same stuff from the 240. Um, I don't know what's in there. Oh yeah, the rest of the wires. So yeah, you may remember me showing you the control the wire so that plugs into and is powered by a SATA power connector and um, so yeah it's just basically controlled by so yeah it's basically just powered by SATA power and you use this controller to control the lighting like on the old one on the 240 and then we have this thing here which I kind of remember what this is for It's not going to focus, is it? There we go. And um, and the wire for I think it's MSI motherboards. Could be wrong there. But I'm currently using the ASUS connector because I have an ASUS motherboard. Yeah, the the only difference was the controller hub for the fans was bigger. I think the last one had like four ports or something and this one has six I think um, so there was always one spare so obviously I'm using the fan at the back for it and there's three uh, for those fans and then one for that alright so I just actually, I actually just spent 40 minutes recording this video well actually I should say not recording this video because I realized after done it that my GoPro would actually stop recording after five minutes so here we go again um, so yeah the RGB I did get to the end but we're gonna start from the start here and we'll start on oh well, yeah static so as the name suggests that's just a single color it's pretty simple uh, you can change it by areas if you like so you can make that one say pink Make that one red, more orange. Make that one yellowy green. Make that one green. Make that one blue. Make this one a kind of candy red. Make this one turquoise. Make this one green green. Whatever that means. Make that one purple. Make this one red. Make this one yellow. Make this one, I don't, why, why am I saying make this one after each one? You get the idea, you can change the colour of each kind of section. And then we click apply. And as you can see, kind of each section of RGB is a different colour. Uh, now you'll also notice that the all-in-one water block thing there, and that fan, and the three fans at the top, they're all the same colour. Uh, because they're all attached into the same controller that is attached to the same RGB header, so which is the RGB addressable header, and that can only be addressed kind of as a single thing. Like you can't you can't change the color of each of the fans and the all-in-one separately. 
So there's one way to get around that, and that is to get an Asus ROG or a terminal, which has four ports which are all addressable. And it's a pretty small device and it would fit in the back of this case. So that might be an idea. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like with multiple different colours. Then on breathing, you can do single colour or by area again. Oh, it's, it's set it for me, nice. Alright, so we'll look at this, like the different coloured version first. So, yeah, just kind of goes on and on. It just kind of goes on and off gradually, like breathing. And then the single colour, we'll just go for this dark blue again. And, yeah, I mean, it's probably my favourite colour just because... That is the colour of the LED on the GPU. But we could go for like a red or something as well if you want. That's kind of candy red. We need to go a little further across. But not too far because we don't want it to be orange. Yeah, and there you go. That's too orange. That might be better. There we go. That's like the, op that's like the optimal red. Okay, and you may notice how there's actually that small fan there, which is kind of an eyesore. It's not aesthetic whatsoever. And that's because this this Lion Life, Leon, is it Leon Lai? Lion Lai? I have no idea. There's one of those fans down there which is turned off. Because it's been making this horrible clicky noise. Um, yeah, so then colour cycle. Uh, there's no settings for that, you just have to click apply. And... All the RGB will cycle through the colours together. Apart from the LED on the GPU, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's pretty cool, I guess. Then there's rainbow. Uh, you can either do the colour cycle or gradient. The colour cycle is like the last one, it just cycles through the colours. We'll turn it to fast because Anything that is slower than fast on this software is actually really slow. Even fast is quite slow, but it's okay. So, I mean, yeah, it looks pretty good. The fans definitely look cool when they're changing colour. Oh, and that, and you can also do gradient, which you can either do a full color cycle, which is what it's set to. If you go like that, or you can do like a particular kind of like color section. So we could do like a dark purple to light blue, and click apply, and it will cycle through like the blue and well purple shades, which is pretty cool. Get a bit of turquoise in there as well. There we go. So yeah, definitely one of the coolest features. And you can also change the sequence at the minute. It's on uh, the additional header strip. Why do I always say additional? It's addressable. The addressable strip, uh, the RAM, and then the motherboard. I think... Is that right? I have no idea. I feel like the motherboard should be first. And then that, then that. Okay. Let's see, does that look better? Probably doesn't look any better because the all-in-one is the same as the fans in the colour changes. So there's not really a correct sequence. Um... Oh, you can do reverse, apparently. I'm not going to... I mean, you can kind of get what that is already. I don't need to show you. The Comet. Now, this one's kind of cool. If we go for single colour first, we'll go for, like, a dark blue again. And it's probably one of the cooler effects on the software. Okay, yeah, this is rather anticlimactic. 
I mean, it looks cool. It could be faster, though. That would be better. Um, and then you can also do by areas again. Unfortunately, they're not... It hasn't, like, set it up for me. So we can change some of them, I guess. Let's see, how does that look? Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same. It doesn't look great, to be honest. Like, the Comet feature is cool, but not with different colours like that. Just my opinion. But it's the correct one. And then we can also do different kind of colour gradients again. So let's go for the same one as we did last time. There we go, two cycles, that's all you get in. Um, yeah, so that's the three settings on that one, on the Comet, and on Flash and Dash. It's the same thing again. We've got the single colour. So this one's kind of just, like, normal. It's kind of static, but then it does, like, this flashy thing throughout the RGB. As you'll see in a second. There you go. But the time in between, it... The time in between when it does that is too long. Like, it's on fast, but I mean it's not fast. Uh, there's also by areas. I mean, you know how that works. I don't think I need to change them all again, but I guess I will. Just to give a quick demonstration. Alright, here we go. Uh, so this is by areas with different colours. Yeah. It's, it's not that great. And then we also have gradient once again. So let's go for like a... Let's go for a red to... Kind of orangey yellow. So it's quite a small gradient. And basically the colours slowly cycle through the gradient and just do the flashy thing every so often. Yeah. And uh, yeah, again you can change the speed. But even the fast one's pretty slow. Uh, so then you can also do the wave. You can either do a single colour or by area. So if we click apply now. It's not the most exciting, it just kind of waves between them, like that turns on, then that, then that. And they like fade in and out. But obviously the sequence isn't that great again because obviously the all in one, that fan and the three fans at the top, they're all the same colour all the time. And then we can do by areas. It's not set up. Alright, there we go. Alright, this is the wave by areas. See so each part's a different colour. It definitely would be cool if you could address the individual LEDs in the all-in-one. But I don't think that is possible. What? The next one, glowing yo-yo, single colour, let's go for red this time. And yeah, it's not really uh it's not really that exciting to be honest. Not a lot happens. Uh, let's go for blue. I think the blue is definitely the best for demonstrations in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. But it's the right one. Uh, by areas, we can do that again. I don't really want to change them all. You can kind of, you get the idea at this point. Starry Night, uh, once again, we can do single colour all by areas. So this is just like static, but it twinkles every so often, the different parts, which is pretty cool. 
this is this is the kind of RGB mode that I would keep it on over time because the effects are subtle it's not really it's not that distracting but it's kind of cool they definitely should have a random option for the areas part just so you don't have to set it all manually yourself and literally just pick random colors yourself I mean, there's no kind of system to this. I'm just picking at random. And turquoise. Okay, then click apply. And there you go. I mean, it's pretty, like, like I said, it's pretty much static, but it just like twinkles every so often. It doesn't look the best in the rainbow mode. You know, with multiple colors. Then we have strobing. We can even do that by area. In fact, let's just do that first because it's already set up. And it just changes between them. Kind of cool, I guess. And then on a single color, is this how it looks? Definitely looks better on, on a single color, I think. And then we have the smart uh, effect. So this can either be by temperature or CPU loading. So if we put it to temperature and set the first one to say 29 and that should like fluctuate between green and yellow and red. Is that the minute it's on red? I guess it's getting a bit toasty in here. Alright, if we change the red to say 34, uh, 30, we'll go for 33. I, can't, I, I don't understand why we can't change that. But we never seem to be able to change that for whatever reason. So we'll put it at 30. Can we even change it back to anything? Right, let's put it on default. Alright, let's change that to 35. Apply. Alright, so it's currently on yellow. It's somewhere between 28 and 35 degrees. And then there's the CPU loading. So if it gets to 40%, it turns yellow. And if it gets to 60% equalization, it, gets to si it, get it turns red, I should say. So currently it's on green, because we are barely using any. And I should hope so, because we're only on RGB software. And then the last one is, well, the second last one is the music effect, but there isn't anything on this select effect thing. I don't know what it's for, to be honest. But on this one, it's pretty cool. I'll bring up a song just to show you. Alright, here we go. So if we put the rock one on, this is what it looks like. Looks kind of cool. This is the hip hop um, option. Probably not the best one. It kind of moves too fast. I don't really like it. The party one. I think this is possibly the best one. In my opinion, that is. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. And then we have the sleep option. Or sleep mode, whatever you want to call it. I think it's just a bit dimmer or something. I don't know. I, didn't, I was already watching the like transfer into that mode. All right, the funk mode. That's pretty cool, actually. The romance mode is much slower and dimmer. In fact, it's not even that much slower. It's still very jerky. Jazz. And then normal. Some kind of looks alright. Um, so yeah, that is all the RGB effects. 
on the Asus Aura Sync. Now I'm going to put it on, what am I putting on? Dash. Flash and Dash. In the dark blue. I think we'll leave it on that. Um, so these are, these are the temperatures in case you are interested in that. Now bear in mind that this is with the uh, thermal paste that it comes with. So it's just Deepcore's own thermal paste. I usually use thermal grizzly but I can't find where I've, I don't know where I've put it basically. So I have to use the one that it came with. Um, but yeah, it seems to be okay. I don't know how it compares to others. And yeah, you can pretty much do with these temperature averages as you want. This is an idle, pretty much. We do have an internet tab open. And obviously this application. And then I guess the last thing to do is to test this. Do a Cinebench test very quickly. Um, yeah, so when I recorded before, I got 1,341. My best score is 1,432. That's like 100 more. That's quite a lot. Now, let's see how it does this time. I don't know what, I don't know if it has anything running in the background. We possibly do. Yeah, we probably have the lighting effects thing. That usually messes it up. And then I'll compare this score to the one I got with the 240 Castle RGB, whatever it's called. And um, see which one's better. I mean, I don't know how much a 120, an extra 120 millimeters of radiator and an extra fan would make in idle. And we haven't overclocked or anything, so, you know, it's no difference there. All right, there we go. We've got this open. End task. What else have we got open that we don't need open? Probably a lot of things. Cloud Pang Player, what the hell is that? Never heard of it. All right, let's try it now. See if it does any better. Probably won't. And then I'll end the video. If you think I should get an Asus ROG or a terminal with the four ports that are addressable, then let me know in the comments. I want to know what people's thoughts are on that. Um, I, I think they're generally bought for exterior like RGB strips and stuff that people put on the back of their monitors or on the wall or whatever. But mine's going to be used internally. Like it has a it has a wall power um, plug and it also has like a, a Molex cable if you want to power it with your PC. So I'll definitely look into getting that I think. Alright, how did we... Oh, we did better then. 1400... It's not so bad. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, but you're probably not watching at this point, so I am probably just talking to myself. So I'll see you in the, uh, in the next video, I guess.